Hi, it's Bill the Handyman. Today I'm working on a Kenmore Elite front loader. And this is sort of a continuation of uh, some other videos I, or another video I just made and I'm gonna post them somewhere down the line. Anyway, it's model, uh, a little bit weathered, it was a donation and they complained that it wasn't spinning the water out. It wouldn't spin at all. And so, a couple of tools you might need. WD-40 always comes in handy. Wire brush, torque set, vice grips. This is a very useful tool. It's like a four-in-one. Harbor Freight sells them. And so the complaint was that it wouldn't spin out again. And uh, so I had to take off the front panel here. The front panel goes on. There's three screws, one here, there, and there. And so these are the torque screws. And so what I usually do is take these off and replace them with regular screws just because they're sort of a hassle to deal with. Another good uh, product to have. Good, some good epoxy or E6000. It's really good for just just about everything. E6000. And uh, so, and if you're doing service work, you probably want to go to Staples, pick yourself up a repair work order uh, booklet, uh, write write receipts out for work if you ever do any work, and. Uh, so basically the complaint was that it wasn't spinning out. So here's your pump, here's your pump right there. I've already pulled the uh, filter out. And basically this is the filter. It screws regular thread counterclockwise to pull it out. And you can see that on the bottom of this filter, uh, all, the, all the little ports are plugged up. All the little uh, uh, areas for the, the water to go through and out are plugged up. You know, somebody likes these soft air gun pellets, and uh, you know, that's the reason why a lot of machines die is because people never clean out their pockets when they uh, they do their laundry. Um, I found jewelry, uh, ID cards, all kinds of stuff in here. So. Uh, and you want to make sure that this pump is running correctly and you might be able to stick your finger in there and feel the impeller uh, to make sure it's intact you can stick your finger inside there and feel the impeller and try and turn the impeller and you get an indication of the uh, condition of the motor so and then this one has a now this one feels like there's something actually stuck in there so I'll have to have to take this apart and make sure there's no coinage in there a lot of times you'll find a nickel or something in there quarter dime or whatever Anyway, this one has the tech sheet inside of it, so you can reference troubleshooting uh, with the tech sheet. Uh, normally, you'd pull the back panel and pull that out, or you might be able to pull it out through the front. But anyway, if you're interested in my how to make money in appliance repair uh, course, uh, which basically gives you a link to uh, various repair videos and uh, personal coaching for one year business coaching uh, I also have a colleague in, in Los Angeles who's an entrepreneur who could give uh, advice as well um, so it's just $49.95 for the entire course on how to make money in the appliance business and uh, send it to Bill's Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. And thanks for watching.
and talk to you later.